this is just a disclaimer for this video. So number one, I am not responsible if you get banned because I know Cody really loves to give out IP bans because he IP banned me for making Ruby CP. And if you haven't heard of it, it's a CPPS just like CPR. So if you want to check out another Club Penguin game, just go to rubycp.me. And the other one is there's going to be a download link down below if the WP Pro comes up as a virus. Don't believe it. It's not a virus. I've been literally using it for like five years or six years, I'd say. And I haven't got a virus from it yet, so trust me on that. And yeah, that's basically it. If you have any questions on what to do, just leave it down in the comments, and I'll try to answer them as fast as I can and as best as I can. So yeah, let's get right into the video. Hey, what's going on guys? It's Ryan7331 here, and today I'm just going to bring you a quick YouTube video on how to add any item that you want as long as it's coded into the game of Club Penguin Rewritten. And also a disclaimer, this method should work for every other CPPS, and basically uh, I got IP banned from CPR, so as you can see in the bottom right, I'm connected to a VPN, so I'm not IP banned anymore, and... The reason why I got IP banned was because I basically made my own private server of Club Penguin, so if you want to check that out, it's rubycp.me, and I'll even advertise it more in the future, because I'll probably have like nine other hacking videos on CPR, because private servers are super easy to hack, so basically I'm going to show you how to get any of them that you want, and for my circumstances, I'm going to get the dark vision goggles, and if you try any like really exotic like items that aren't even in the game yet, it's not going to work, it's just going to say item not available, so make sure that it's an item that's actually in the game already. So item ID is 102, so keep that in mind. So all you have to do is go in the description and there's going to be a download link for WPE Pro. If it comes up as a virus, just ignore it because uh, basically every other hacking tool comes up as a virus for some reason. and just open rewritten.exe. You can't use a web browser because WP Pro does not work with web browsers anymore. It used to in like 2014, the last time I used it. So all you have to do is open WP Pro and it's going to look something like this. So you're going to be logged into the rewritten application and all you have to do on WPE is to click target program, scroll down, then you'll find rewritten.exe, double click on it, and then it should say rewritten exe up the top there. So all you have to do now is go to send and uh, just a second. One eternity later. Okay, so I am back. So all you have to do is your screen is going to look like this where it says filters and you just have to hit this button where it says send. So click send and you're going to still be in CPR right now. So then you just hit this open file thing. And there's also going to be another download link for addItem.spt. So you double click on it and it opens it up there. And what you have to do now is still be signed into CPR on that application in the download link. So you just go to WPE Pro and click this play button here. And then go back to read written. Just click anywhere. Preferably do this in your igloo because it's easier to do. Because if you do it in like a public place like the town where there's like tons of people in there. It's going to be thousands of stuff in here so it's easier just to do it in your igloo by yourself and just go on the first one left click it right click it and click send list with sock socket id sorry and just click on that and then check mark add item and to change which item that you want you just have to hit this pencil edit selected packet tool and it's going to look like this and it might be might be a little like overwhelming for you but I'll just try to break it down so AI means add item it's like a staff command so add item and then 14541 is the item ID that I was doing last time it's not gonna work so what you have to do is uh, change 15 or 14541 to whatever item ID that you want so to find the item ID you just go to clubpenguinwikia.com and just find the item that you want that's already in the game so for this instance I'm going to use the dark vision goggles and as I said before the item ID is 102 so what I have to do is go over here and change this to 102 and as you can see this is 
too big of a packet to send. So what I have to do is go over here and click packet size and just shrink it a little bit. But keep in mind that you need the percentage sign and a period at the end. So it's going to be 102. Yeah, the item ID is 102. So this has to be 102 percentage period. And this is too big, so I'm going to get rid of it. So this is 102 percentage period. That's what it's supposed to look like. So you just click OK. And then all you have to do now is click play here and then play again, then walk. And then you get the dark vision goggles. And you can do this with any item that you want as long as it's already in the game. So I'm going to try like a purple wizard hat, even though I actually I'm going to do the tour guide hat because I'm not a tour guide right now. Let me see. Like, as you guys know, you have to be like 45 days to be a tour guide. So I'm going to add the tour guide hat and I'll be a tour guide without being uh, 45 days old in this game. So what I have to do again, click this add select packet and then change this to 428 and make sure it says the percentage and period at the end if you don't do that it won't work and as I said before if you keep typing if I do like it's not gonna let me type anymore so if I have like a four or five digit item ID all you have to do is go down here and you can increase or decrease the packet size so all I have to do is percentage period and then click OK and then do the same thing again click play over here then play again then walk and then I get the tour guide hat and then I also get the congratulations on becoming a tour guide and I'm sorry if I'm making mistakes or anything because this is like a live commentary and I'm not going to edit anything out I'm just going to make the audio sound a lot better so that's basically how to get any item that you want in the game yeah that's basically it so leave a like stay subscribed and make sure you're staying tuned because I'm going to have like nine other CPPS hacks in the video like videos in the future so stay tuned for that so leave a like stay subscribed and have a nice day